Every year, the Lamborghini factory produces around 10,000 cars, generating more than 2 billion euros in revenue, all with fewer than 1,000 employees. This makes it one of the most recognized brands in the world. But how is a supercar built? To find out, let's travel to Italy and tour the facilities to understand the process. Lamborghini does not just make supercars, it creates legends on wheels. At its iconic headquarters in Italy's Motor Valley, the brand has revolutionized the industry by combining innovation and performance. More than 400 specialists, many of them second-generation craftsmen, assemble each vehicle using a blend of advanced technology and manual precision. Lamborghini decided to go beyond in the world of supercars with a clear goal – to redefine its own standards. It was not an easy journey. After numerous meetings between executives, designers and engineers, the Aventador was born a model that took the brand to another level. Its greatest innovation was lightness. They chose a carbon fibre monocoque chassis, a technology previously reserved for racing, and managed to adapt it for mass production. Until then, manufacturing it was expensive and complex, but Lamborghini found a way to make it viable on a large scale. To achieve this, in 2009, they built a huge factory next to their headquarters, dedicated exclusively to producing the Aventador's chassis. The result was an ultra-light monocoque weighing only 147 kilograms, which dramatically improved the power-to-weight ratio and transformed the driving experience. Lamborghini had been experimenting with carbon fiber for decades, starting in the 1980s with the Cantach Evolucione. Thanks to its experience with composite materials, the brand developed specialized facilities for its production. With no model to follow in the automotive industry, it took inspiration from aerospace and adapted the processes. This led to the creation of the CFK Center, a 500 square meter space where about 150 specialists carefully produce up to four complete Aventador monocoques every 24 hours. Almost half a century after its founding, Lamborghini reaffirmed its commitment to innovation carbon fibre became the foundation of its future supercars, securing its place at the top of automotive engineering. So, what is the process like inside the Lamborghini factory? It all begins with an automated machine that cuts the materials with millimetre precision. Then, the pieces are placed in moulds and go through a vacuum lamination process to take their shape. Once moulded, they are placed in an autoclave a huge pressurized oven where they harden to reach their final strength. Meanwhile, other components of the monocoque are manufactured using high precision lasers and resin injection into the carbon fiber fabric, turning flexible sheets into rigid and ultra strong structures. Once all the pieces are ready, the base and roof of the chassis are assembled with perfectly drilled holes to ensure a flawless final fit. Lamborghini follows a unique production method that combines artisanal craftsmanship with advanced technology to guarantee the highest level of quality in every vehicle. Inspired by the aerospace industry, each stage of the process is designed to achieve exceptional precision and performance. One of the most unusual quality control methods is known as the hammer test. A trained technician taps the carbon fiber monocoque with a calibrated hammer to detect any hidden air pockets inside the structure. Only if the part passes this test can it proceed to the next phase, where the frame and roof are joined. To ensure perfect alignment, a robotic arm equipped with laser scanning technology inspects every contact point, verifying that all sections fit together with absolute accuracy. Next, metal components are manually integrated into the monocoque, completing the vehicle's structural frame. The body then moves through a light tunnel, where it is carefully inspected to detect any surface imperfections. At this point, the Aventador begins to take shape, revealing its unmistakable silhouette. This process is not just a feat of engineering, it is also a combination of legacy and artistry. Lamborghini, known for its bold design language, had to ensure that the Aventador remained true to its identity. For the design team, every model must be instantly recognizable from a distance. The real challenge was to balance innovation with tradition without compromising the essence of the brand. Signature elements, like the iconic scissor doors, are part of the soul of Lamborghini. But in this brand, design is not only about appearance. Every curve and every detail has a functional purpose. 
From the air intakes to the aerodynamic shape of the chassis, every feature of the Aventador is engineered to maximise performance and efficiency. One of the biggest challenges was providing proper cooling for the powerful V12 engine. To achieve this, large air intakes were added to the sides of the vehicle, removing the traditional three-segment body division and creating a more fluid and aggressive profile. The inspiration behind the Aventador came from a wide range of sources, including nature, sports, technology and aerospace. The cabin, for example, features a design that evokes that of a fighter jet with a start button and a TFT screen reminiscent of aircraft controls. The team even looked to the structure of insects when shaping the roof, aiming for the perfect balance between aerodynamic function and aesthetic beauty. After completing the first stage, work begins on one of the most iconic features of the Aventador, its colour. In the paint shop, each car is treated like a work of art. With 13 available colours, every shade is applied by hand with a level of precision few vehicles can match. Each of the 27 body panels is carefully painted by a specialist, using a total of 8 litres of paint. Due to the Aventador's bold design and aggressive lines, it demands more manual labour than any other Lamborghini. Every step in the process is executed with artisanal precision, because only the human eye and skilled hands can ensure that the paint covers every surface with the perfect amount. The painting process requires 200 hours of specialised labour. The refinement stage alone takes three full days, and once complete, the body is polished with high-grade materials. Then, it undergoes a detailed inspection in a light tunnel for two hours, where an expert carefully checks the colour. If any inconsistency is found, the panel is repainted. Areas that need additional polishing are also reworked. Only when every quality standard is met does the car move on to the next stage, the assembly line. Just a few metres from the original Lamborghini factory, founded nearly 50 years ago, stands the Aventador's assembly line. Even though modern technology plays a crucial role today, the assembly process remains largely manual, just as Ferruccio Lamborghini intended. He believed that the mechanic's skill was essential for achieving excellence, and that philosophy remains the core of the brand. Inside the plant, a team of 50 workers, spread across 11 workstations, performs each task with impressive precision to assemble every Aventador. These employees are selected from the top mechanical schools in the Emilia-Romagna region and undergo over two years of specialised training at Lamborghini to perfect their craft. Despite technological advances, the assembly is still done by hand. While automation is on the rise, human expertise is critical, especially during the engine installation. At this station, the Aventador's V12 engine comes to life. This 6.5-litre engine delivers 700 horsepower. Although it is more powerful than the one used in the Murcielago, it weighs less thanks to its special aluminum and silicon alloy. But the V12 engine is not just powerful, it is also unmatched in sound. Lamborghini has spent countless hours running tests and simulations to create its signature roar. From a deep growl at low revolutions to a thunderous crescendo when accelerating, the Aventador's engine is a symphony all its own. While the engine is being assembled, the body continues down the production line, gradually transforming from a bare structure into a high-performance supercar. Every step of the process, from engine installation to final assembly, is carried out with an attention to detail that ensures each Lamborghini Aventador is a masterpiece of engineering and human craftsmanship. Each team has exactly one hour and 40 minutes to complete its task before the vehicle moves forward on the assembly line. Any delay could impact production targets and increase costs. The process begins with mechanics working underneath the car, installing the front differential. To make this easier, the vehicle is lifted and rotated, allowing every component to be installed with precision. Next comes one of the most critical steps, installing the transmission onto the chassis. This is where the Aventador truly comes to life. The step is known as the marriage of the engine and the body, symbolising the union of years of development and engineering. Every connection is carefully checked since any mistake could compromise the car's performance during road testing. Unlike in many factories where this step is automated, 
Lamborghini performs it entirely by hand to ensure unmatched quality. Little by little, what began as a carbon fibre skeleton becomes a supercar ready to conquer the road. As the Aventador's structure takes shape, another section of the factory focuses on its interior, where each vehicle is personalised according to the client's wishes. Each day, about 100 square metres of leather arrive in nine different colours. Every piece is carefully inspected for imperfections before being hand-cut and stitched by skilled artisans. Back on the assembly line, another key component is ready. The suspension. Though it may seem simple at first glance, its design is inspired by Formula One. The horizontal arm suspension system maximizes grip through corners, ensuring stability even at speeds of up to 350 km per hour. But the innovation does not stop there. The Aventador's transmission, operated by paddles behind the steering wheel, features a patented system that allows gear shifts to occur almost instantly. In just 50 milliseconds, a new gear engages while the previous one disengages, reaching shift speeds comparable to a Formula One car. At this stage, the Aventador is approaching the final phases of production. In the final station, mechanics work with millimetre level precision to complete each unit. More than 50 specialists have contributed to its assembly, from the engine installation to the interior upholstery. Only when every detail meets Lamborghini's demanding standards is the vehicle ready to leave the factory. As meticulous as the assembly is, so is the Aventador's quality control. Before leaving the facility, each unit undergoes rigorous testing to ensure performance and safety. One of the most demanding tests is the brake test, performed in a specialised room. Although the car remains stationary, its wheels spin up to 140 km per hour to evaluate the carbon ceramic braking system. Thanks to this technology, the Aventador can come to a complete stop from 100 km per hour in just 30 metres. Under optimal conditions, it can even accelerate from 0 to 100 and stop again in under 4 seconds. All data from the anti-lock braking system is recorded and analysed in a central computer to verify precision. Next, the car enters a light tunnel, where technicians inspect every centimetre of its aesthetic finish. They carefully check that the paint, assembly and interior details are flawless before moving forward. But the final and most thrilling test is the road test. Here, engineers evaluate every mechanical and electronic component, making sure the Aventador responds with the precision it was built for. It is the first time the car is experienced the way it was meant to be enjoyed. Only when the test driver is completely satisfied with its performance does the vehicle receive the final approval to go out into the world. And that is how Lamborghini's facilities produce their iconic supercars. What did you think of the process? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. On the screens coming up next, you will find more videos you are sure to enjoy. Go ahead and watch one. See you next time.